Hi. Do you need to add people in your business processes because you have an increased volume? Are you sure you really need to do that? Don't get me wrong, it's lovely to add people and hire a lot of people. However, if you never thought about improving your business processes in the way we would do it, you could actually miss out on a huge opportunity. Stay tuned for more. Hi, my name is Johan Mailov. I'm the founder and CEO of Linda Mansions International. I was contacted by a management team. Uh, this wasn't too long ago, but I was uh, talking to them and they had a need of hiring more engineers. It's a wonderful feeling, right? Because you develop your business, you need more people and such. I, I love that myself. Here's the thing though, they weren't really thinking uh, about the possibilities of improving that specific area first. And the problem that many companies face, I think, is that when it comes to business processes, they have never really mapped out the process to fully understand the losses they have. They're often organized in uh, about ease of management. So people who, uh, who have the same type of job title and job function report to the same manager and sit together. And they are most likely never working together with any person close to them. So they always have to walk around and find people in the organization that they actually work with in the process. But this company specifically, they had eight engineers. They needed to up the level of new products coming into the organization and they were looking at maybe hiring two more people. Here's what we did. We mapped out the process. We understood where the losses were. We saw that the lead time was a little bit over 400 days to implement a totally new product. We worked together with the team to reduce the, the lead time by doing a certain number of activities that takes away the time between all the tasks you do. So the lead time went down to approximately 200 days. What if this is a situation that you could have as well? What if you could reduce your lead time with 50%? Think about that. What would that actually mean? Well, in the previous 400 days, you could introduce one product. You can now do it in 200 days. That means that you have basically doubled your capacity, right? You can do two products in 400 days. To me, that will be a double capacity. They didn't have to hire any engineers. They already had them in house. They increased their uh, production or output with 100% without adding any people. Imagine, I'm just saying, imagine if that is true. What would that mean for your organization? We can help you to understand that. So if you recognize that you have a need of adding people in business processes, but you're not 100% sure that you're doing the right thing, let us help you to understand what would the right thing be to do in your organization. It's different for everyone. And uh, if you like and share this video as well, it really helps us to spread the word. So we appreciate that a lot. Thank you for listening.